Hey guys, today we're going to talk about green blood therapy. Now, what is that? It's really just wheatgrass juice, okay? But before I get started, I want to just differentiate um, a couple things. Uh, there's a lot of people consuming a lot of wheat in the form of breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, things like that. When you're consuming wheat, you're not consuming the wheat grass. You're consuming the wheat seed, which is the grain. They take that grain, they grind it up, and they put it in the flour. Okay? Uh, it has a lot of bad health effects when you consume that, especially in the refined form. Okay? But what I'm talking about is the wheatgrass juice, juice powder type products, which basically is the baby grass of the wheat plant, okay, which then grows at a certain point and develops seeds. And that's where they take the grain out. But wheatgrass doesn't have any gluten, especially in the early parts where you would juice it. But there's some interesting studies, uh, mainly in Europe uh, and India, and I'm going to put some links down below. But there's one study that is very, very credible. It was a double-blind, placebo-controlled study on 23 patients with ulcerative colitis. And what they found was significant reduction in ulcers and in severity of rectal bleeding. Okay, And the reason they saw that was there's some property in wheatgrass that's really beneficial to your skin. Not just external, but internal. So a lot of people take it for ulcers. Uh, it's also good for bed sores, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, any type of inflammatory condition internally related to the digestive system. And it does other things too. Like for example, there's a study on a condition called beta thalassemia, which is a genetic condition involving low hemoglobin, the protein that carries oxygen to the body. And because the chemistry of the chlorophyll, which is kind of like the blood of the plant, the green stuff, is very similar to our own blood, with the difference of it having magnesium instead of iron, they found it's a good fortifier for your blood. In fact, there were benefits in over 50% of these patients. There was even a reduction of the need for getting a transfusion, which is quite incredible. So chlorophyll is a blood builder. Uh, it's good for the skin, but honestly, we don't really know exactly what in the wheatgrass is doing this. Is it the chlorophyll? Is it the phytonutrients, which there's a lot of? Is it the vitamin E or the C or even the trace minerals? We don't know exactly. But we do know that wheatgrass has a lot of chlorophyll. Uh, I want to mention a couple things about what chlorophyll can do. As a side note, uh, there's a toxin that comes from a fungus called aflatoxin. It's very, very poisonous to your liver, it can cause liver cancer. And it's higher in peanuts, corn, soy, other grains. Well, chlorophyll has the ability to neutralize and reduce the effect of this toxin. So when someone consumes peanut butter or peanuts, it'd be a good idea to also at the same time make sure you're taking chlorophyll just to keep that toxin at the lower levels. Uh, and that can be in the form of a salad, a vegetable, wheatgrass juice, powder, whatever. And it also neutralizes another toxic element called alloxin, which scientists use to induce diabetes in mice in their experiments. Uh, you can also create alloxin if you combine bleached white flour, like when you buy flour at the store, like um, making bread, pasta, and things like that, uh, you have the unbleached and the bleach. That bleach combined with that bread can increase your levels of alloxin, okay? Well, guess what? Chlorophyll can help neutralize this too. So that's really cool. So we differentiated what wheat is versus wheatgrass, okay? And then you have something called wheatgrass powder. That's really just concentrated wheatgrass fiber. There's probably not a lot of chlorophyll or juice in there because it's just all the fiber. And then you have wheatgrass juice, okay? From the health of store, you probably see that all the time. That's a concentrated form of the, the juice from the wheatgrass, okay? So they extract this juice in a concentrated form. And then you have wheatgrass juice powder, okay? Now that's a super concentrated uh, wheatgrass because if you take the liquid and take the water out, it actually decreases majorly in volume. So you, I think it's like a five, it's a two to 5% yield, but I really want to differentiate the quality of this wheatgrass juice powder. If you're getting the juice powder, even the wheatgrass that's grown, typically what you see in the health food store on the sponge, not from a soil, 
from a sponge and they juice it, you're getting some benefit. But there's a huge difference in if you're getting wheatgrass juice powder grown on a very healthy soil over a period of months completely different product because uh, now we have the plant's ability to dig down and pull those trace minerals and pull them up. You're going to have higher chlorophyll levels, you're going to have higher trace minerals, vitamin levels, and phytonutrients. And unfortunately, a lot of the studies done on wheatgrass do not involve the real high level quality wheatgrass juice powder. And my thought is if you're actually stepping it up and using a much higher quality source, you can even probably get better results. Anyway, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you have my app yet, Dr. Berg app. It's totally free. You should download it. Okay, this is what it looks like. You click it. It gives you all sorts of great resources. I have all my YouTube videos on this app. Okay, and it's regularly um, uploading the most recent ones. All the YouTube videos are also converted to audio versions, okay? So you can use it when you're walking, exercising, driving your car. I have a mini course on there. I'll be putting additional courses. I have a lot of recipes on there. This is new and also PDF resources. So there's various downloads, PDFs that you can get as well. And if you wouldn't mind, after you download it, check it out. Give me your unbiased review and tell me how you like it. I wanna know.